This is a quick overview of the interface of Rhino 5.0. First, up here you will see the path of the file that you are working on. Let me open file open and from our Savannah 3DM library let me open this barbecue grill 3D model double click to maximize the perspective viewport so as you can see there is the path where this 3DM file is located. Down here, if you zoom window, down here you will see the history of all the commands. Also, this area is what we call the command prompt. This is where you can type like zoom, enter, extend. You can type all the commands. Down here we have the toolbars and notice that you can right click up here and show all the toolbars. We will cover this later on. If I left click, I go to the four default viewports. This is the top viewport, the front viewport, the right viewport, and perspective. Notice that you can open up by clicking this little arrow you can open up all the options that each viewport has as well as you can right click and open up the same options down here we find the OSNAP toolbar. You can disable and enable the OSNAP. You can also deattach the OSNAP toolbar and let me put it back. Up here we have all the menus. You can left click and open up a menu and some menus come with sub menus. Notice that each viewport has a title. You can change that later on. Over here, new in 5, we have the tabs. You can select, for example, solid tools, curve tools, drafting, etc. The default will be the first tab, a standard. 
down here, if you right click, you can open and activate many options like the percentage of the CPU that is working on your computer, how much memory has been used, etc. And the last thing that I want you to see is if you double click the title of a viewport, double click, you maximize the viewport. If you double click one more time, you go back to four viewports. So let me double click and I can right click and select render. This is a mode which we will cover later on. You have wireframe, shaded, and the one that I want you to use right now is render. So this is a quick overview of the interface of Rhino 5.